Alrighty, so showing you things happening in my refrigerator. So the Trim Healthy Mama freezer meals in action. Here they are, although the ketchup's in the wrong spot. So the other day I had pulled up, these are some of the chicken laisons that we did, and some of the, one of the um, queso chicken bakes, and a little bit of the cowboy grub. Last night what I did is I took this, uh, this same size container of cowboy grub, and two of the pieces of chicken and I had that which again if you're in the THM matrix uh, is probably more of a crossover which is a meal that is healthy for you won't necessarily put you in weight loss mode and that's that's okay uh, because there's definitely time especially since I run hello good morning we have talking hand but hey let's clean the refrigerator while we're in here um, these are the yogurts that I eat too but especially since you know I run and do all those things too there's my body's my body, not plural, <laughs> don't have more than one, my body needs some crossovers. So, hello, this is what we are going to get going. It's kind of a, more of a breakfast brunch thing. I got a whole like sink dishwasher saga going on and hopefully in this video we have some answers. I need to get this in the microwave though and I will then catch you up on this situation going on here. Alrighty, so I'll get this in the microwave now. And here you can see some of my folks took some of these breakfast freezer meal sandwiches. It's actually uh, one of the breakfast burritos left too. And we just got a variety of breakfast sandwiches. Uh, looks like they're probably through the bagel ones. Now I'm seeing a lot of the English muffin ones and they differ. I mean, there's enough people here. Some will have these for breakfast, some will have these for lunch, but they're in here and they're prepped and ready to go. Well, hello friends, new day, same double dishwasher and clogged sink saga. Back to yesterday though, I ended up having my favorite, double bacon cheeseburger. It's the number five combo here in Virginia. I don't get the combo, but I get the double bacon cheeseburger from Hardee's wrapped in lettuce that just holds me just right. I appreciate it. Thank you, Hardee's. I was out doing some errands last evening. That's what I ate. Folks at home, we stuck, say it with me, those emergency Costco lasagnas. You get two for, I was at $16.99. They did two of those for dinner last evening. So that was perfect. I'm hoping today to get into some more breakfast, breakfast freezer cooking. Cause as I say, look, wait a minute, what's on my ceiling? Okay. Food hmm, happens. Anyway, sorry, I haven't eaten yet today. We, we're gonna fix that in a minute. So I'm a little shaky, but I also thought I, I need to, sh I need to, I need to catch up. <laughs> so catch up with me for a minute. Where were we? But those breakfast freezer meals that I showed you that the teens are ripping through. I wanna do the part two to that video and I'm hoping to get in on that this afternoon and work this afternoon and this evening on that. At least making hopefully 57 dozen muffins. I mean, who knows how many really. Stick with me, watch for that video and we'll see. But, okay, we'll have talking hand now show us this situation. Okay, so the situation, which includes, I now have dishwasher racks on my floor. So, and, and I know y'all care about this because you have always, like for a decade, right, followed my appliance sagas. So here's what's going down. <laughs> this dishwasher, maybe three weeks ago now, our videos t will tell us, stopped working and we stopped using it and my refrigerator just cut on and I haven't practiced with my wireless mics yet, so, but we, we can do this. We're gonna get there also. We're doing everything, okay. So, okay, fine, and I'll just yell. <laughs> I'll, I'll call, I'll holler real loud. This dishwasher stopped. We're grown-ups, we can handle this. Sorry, folks, we only have one dishwasher, so we went down to using this one dishwasher. Then this dishwasher stopped working, and then immediately following that, my garbage disposal got backed up, and I'm real scared about that pipe popping open. So, I had nice local plumbers that came out, and the good news is that this dishwasher, okay, I mean, I guess it's bad news. They needed to order a new pump, but they ordered it, and they're gonna get that fixed. And then this dishwasher, something, the drain was plugged. Oh, I know, they said that when this was installed, the straps were not installed on the sides, okay. 
And so they said that this dishwasher got moved a little bit, which pinched something, which was keeping it from draining properly. And so they set it correctly. I turned it on while he was here. Everything sounded like it was running. They left. So they left with a pump order for this one and this one being fixed. And at that point, my garbage disposal wasn't acting up. So I let them leave. Basically, that's why I didn't keep them trapped. Okay, so then, this was fun. It was only like two hours later, and I went back to this dishwasher, like, oh, my dishwasher's working again, and opened it and realized it didn't run. And when I realized the power was out, I was like, shoot. So, had another helpful team who knows about how this kitchen is set up with me. We got under this cabinet and we realized this dishwasher was flipping the outlet where it's plugged in. I know words. I may not have any carbs in my body yet today, but we're going to get our Mediterranean rice and quinoa going after this with some chicken. Yes, we are. Anyway, it kept flipping that outlet. And so I reset it, I tried a few times, it kept doing it, and I thought, okay, screech, mama needs some more help. Then that evening, because we were hand washing dishes, like the farmhouse days, right? Hand washing dishes, I realized this garbage disposal, I don't know now if you can hear it. Yeah, it's just a you do, very low bus. This garbage disposal stopped sucking water down and then opened my sink, my sink, so just seeing what else was going down, going down under there, and uh, I saw a small drip from that pipe, which is scary because maybe a year ago, a little coupling, is that the word? It's just plastic pipes though, so. Anyway, had screwed off and there was water that came out, no water damage, we tightened it. So, I knew enough to tighten it. Thank you so much for following this with me. So, the good news is that yesterday, the best, appliance repair fella has come highly recommended he had a two-week wait when I called him last week he came yesterday but what he ended up telling me was that because he doesn't actually do plumbing and drain work but he can fix any appliance he's my new best friend okay he told me he can't do anything with these dishwashers because all the drains are now plugged because of this garbage disposal so I'm on his list, he's gonna come back next week. And I texted my local plumbers with my update and I'm back on their list, isn't this fun? Back on their list and they are coming back to address the whole garbage disposal situation and see how we can continue to function in life. So this does affect me though, because if I'm going to cook, you know, 57 dozen muffins and freezer meals and all that, why we have two dishwashers in this kitchen and two big giant sinks. Stuff needs wash and process. So I'm gonna show you now how my dishes are looking. Actually, let's get our Trim Healthy Mama approved <laughs> food in the microwave. Oh, I feel that air coming in. Okay, nice, thank you. Feeling like summer around here. It's a nice, nice spring day. Anywho, let's get lunch going. Then we're gonna put dishes away. I had a teen last night. Hey, J. Merle, where are your kids? Had a teen last night do a big load of dishes. We need to get those put away. And then we're gonna wash this other stuff. And then hopefully after that, let's just see how long that takes. It takes a lot to hand wash all these dishes, like the olden days. Okay, so you can see the current state of this refrigerator. So out of all those breakfast freezer meal sandwiches, we have basically the equivalent of one shelf. I mean, these, <laughs> we do have several random ice cream tubs around here. I don't like to keep ice cream in this freezer. I mean, you know we have enough freezers and um, it just can lead to a door accidentally being open. And so I have an ice cream drawer in another freezer, but these tubs are hard. Okay, so anyway, we have those. Um, we have, let's see, one cheese, emergency cheese pizza. And looks like these grilled chicken patties. Um, and these are like not breaded. That's what I'm trying to show you. But let me, let me let mama just help here. Um, so, okay. 
ice cream tubs. Let's just move these out for a minute. This was mine the other day that I started eating and lost my lid. Okay. Come on, ice cream tub. Woo! Okay. So, I mean, we can go through two ice cream tubs if we have, like, we had an eclipse party. That's what it was. That's what this, I, that's the excuse for this ice cream. So half of this one's left. And then we have these two. And I think what happened is I ordered these two for pickup thinking we were out and we had like three half tubs. So they had cookies and cream ice cream and Oreos with our little eclipse party. But anyway, just showing you the state of um, the refrigerator. I like to organize things though, but it's great that they can get in here and get what they need. These are breakfast burritos we had made. But again, when I did all that breakfast freezer cooking, and I'll link that video in the description below, we had two full shelves. So here we are now, like, week and a half, two weeks later, we're down to one. So that means, you know, by my freezer cooking math, another week and a half, two weeks, these will all be done, uh, which is great because that's why we made them. And then hold on here while we organize. Still got that spaghetti sauce. We will get to that. And this I haven't tried yet, but it's the General Sal's. And I like this brand and it's gluten-free, grain-free, no sugar added. Um, so yeah, I like, I want to eat that now, but I do have a couple of my Trim Healthy Mama freezer meals that are defrosted upstairs. So that's what I want to show you. I just like to show you the progression. So there's the cowboy grub that's left, the chicken fried double rice, which has been fantastic. Uh, queso chicken bake. We got some meat loaves. This is more that chicken lasagne is just delicious. Um, anyway, I'm just condensing my shelves here. Okay, how can I? Well, let's see here. I've got my favorites. And put this up. And I used this cowboy grub, which it was the rice and some vegetables and the ground beef and such, um, like how I do that Mediterranean rice. So, drum roll please. Remember all the THM freezer cooking we did a few weeks before we did that? This shelf is all that's left. And this is just... This is just some random like life odds and ends. These are some steamers that I would have never actually ordered these, but they substituted it in a grocery order. And I do have pizza. Look, I want you to stay in that box because the directions are there and people who can read can read that, but don't flip on me. <laughs> um, and those we got at Costco and I work through using those at different times. So the freezer meal freezer, this is how it's a looking. And we are going to definitely fill it with other good things. I'm going to move these tubs, though, to a different freezer um, because, I mean, they're, they're going to go through the ice cream so quick. And then my veggie freezer, which, oh, whew, let me tell you something, okay? Do you see these? Like, go to your Walmart app, put these in your cart now. If you're looking at, like, carbs and sugar and gluten-free and all this stuff, these are amazing, okay? No, they are not same level as a cookie, chocolate chip cookie vanilla ice cream sandwich, but these are really close. They are so good. They are better than what I normally call better than nothing. Like, these are almost as good as the real thing, and I love them. And so, let's see here. It has, let me go back, somewhere in here. It was, oh, well, there, it says it right on there. Four net carbs per sandwich. And so it's higher fat, so if you're a THM lady, and the THM sisters did not tell me these are on plan, but I'm telling you by how I do their plan, I eat these and I consider them an S, within an S meal. Okay, you got all that? Um, there are some things going on in here. There's all kinds of things going on. Um, these lasagnas, see, I like to keep like quick freezer meals. So that's what we did two of those last night, and they're gone. But again, a $16 dinner for almost a dozen folks. That's pretty good. Um, and those blackberries are still judging us from Azure, but maybe I'll use those in some muffins. Okay. These, I don't like these in here either. I just like to cost trouble. Might actually put these in the ground beef freezer. We'll get over there. Sorry, I started organizing things. Um, what I came for is my rice. We'll get back to that. So I have all kinds of short ribs left and some, a lot we need to do bone broth, don't we? Mm, is today the day? I don't know. I kind of, you know, I forget because life has been life, but I've got, 
I could be doing bone broth, so we'll put that back on our list. Ribs, even that's a lot of ribs, but I do have some fillets left. I'm just showing you from the full cow I bought. Um, up here is still some different steak cuts. And those are also some burger patties. That looks like our oxtail. So anyway, this is stuff we need to we need to get to. What is what is this cut though? I don't remember. It's like some kind of roast. This almost looks like ribs again. Okay, and then what are you? Oh, and that looks like that's more bones. Okay. Anyway, life, life, life. But we'll at least get those patties in there. But I as I've been saying for a while now, I don't have any like loose ground beef. Um, that's what I wanted to say. I was thinking about doing chicken barbecue or sloppy joes, and I do have hamburger buns for those. I was thinking about doing those, um, but I wanna look while we're down here too. Let's not forget our Mediterranean rice. I, have, I should have some canned ground beef still, and if so, we will use that to do sloppy joes. Okay. Again, <laughs> rolling through these. I appreciate it. And now that I'm down here and I see my sour, my frozen sourdough disc, I'm like, oh, then we could get our sourdough going. But anyway, I'm gonna work through today's meals and today's situations like those dishes. Okay, nope, in this freezer, which this is the one by my freeze dryer that I do keep all the, you know, the judging tomatoes and stuff in, I have more of the THM chili, and I have, I believe those are all the Philly cheesesteak casseroles, which I'll do two of those at a time, and I have all these trim train soups. So, again, the, the THM, I've been eating them out of that freezer, and I will also roll through them in here, and then there's my, my children's ice cream. Okay, so... Life is good all around. And then here's my little uh, halo top for once in a while too. And this is perfect because that is all ground beef on my shelf. Let's see, one, two, three, two, four, six, eight, nine. Might take all of those and drain them, use them, throw them in the slow cooker with our ingredients and we'll do sloppy joes, yay. And I do also have a good bit of canned chicken. And so, I mean, either well, both. We could do chicken salad and we can also do pulled chicken barbecue using that. It's super tender. Okay, so it's actually eight quarts that we have because I'll show you something. So this one apparently did not seal. Look at this science experiment we got going on. However, I did the lift test with these. And of course, the day I canned them, I did. I mean, I'm not worried about these because I can pick up these jars buy this lid and I'm only doing this gently here because I got this box stacked on another box but anyway you should be able to pick up your jars even by these sealed lids and then be just fine so anyway and that's just the fat on the top but I just found two more jars so we've got uh, what did we have we got 10 quarts now but my kids are absolutely crazy about mama sloppy joes so anyway 10 quarts will be no problem around here. I'll just carry this upstairs. So we will get to processing this after we tackle the dish mess, which is after I eat. So that's the to-do list. I do normally eat three meals a day plus snacks, but you know, once in a while it becomes more of a brunch. Oh, and while it's in the microwave, the reason this is on the floor is yesterday when the appliance repairman came, this dishwasher was loaded because we had loaded it the other day. Anyway, I forgot about it. And so we unloaded everything into the sink behind me and I just set those on the floor. They were actually down there, but the coffee pot's down there and that makes life complicated. So anyway, just random questions you might ask and there's your random answer. Okay, I sat and ate. I don't think I showed you what I ate, but it was, you definitely know that Mediterranean rice. It was that and then the one of the same chicken breasts from yesterday. So here's my dish situation. Okay, <laughs> it's good, it's good. Okay, so um, again, we have, woo, noise, we have noise. So remember that we have no real hand dishwashing systems in place because that was never the plan with the Mega Mama kitchen. So, oh, and also, that sink over yonder that's clogged is a much better one to hand wash in. Now, here, 
what my teenager did the other night is we had dishes that were soaking and then as they wash we put this towel out and they have to clean things here these other things are clean that i use in my cooking videos and they're just there this is current dirties that will not fit into this sink and i can see some other things have been stacked here that should not be but again this current crop of kids, they don't know what hand washing dishes are and what to stack and not stink, stink, stink or stack in the sink. And last night was the second time we hand washed a load and I had hand washed the first load because again, I was thinking, oh, I gotta, I'm gonna have to show folks here how to, how to do this. Um, my adult, adult kiddos, do know how to handle it. Um, but my current team, it's a mystery. So, two way, this current load has been a soaking, and these I'm ready to put in the wash, and these over here are also clean. So basically, I'm clean this way, but dirty here. Stick with me. But we need to put the clean things away. I'm talking out of plan. We put the clean things away, and then wash the dirty and load up the counter again, but we're doing it. Maker, what do you have to say? Okay, 
Nope. Okay, thought I was gonna draw pies. It's two pounds of ground beef in a canned quart, or it's a pound of ground beef in a pint, and you know, we don't do too many pints around here. So, I have eight pounds of ground beef so far. I'm going to do one more. I'm just picking the fat off the top and draining it. Um, but if I do one more jar, that'll be 10 pounds of ground beef. And what have we done? What's the maximum we've done in this lodge cast iron? I'm not sure offhand, but anyway, I wanna have enough for these people who love Mama Sloppy Joes. They just think like I'm the only one in the world that does Sloppy Joes, right? Uh, but everyone should think that their mom's Sloppy Joes are the best. So, I want enough for tonight and tomorrow, if possible. But I think we'll do five jars and then I have five more jars looking at us. I can always do some more tomorrow. But I do want to get out and do my run this evening. It's been hotter during the day, what is that? So I'll need to run in the morning and the evening, which evening I say works best and then I think of all the times I run in the morning. So I will run this evening though. And tomorrow I'm gonna go run with my trainer and then run with some folks in the city, which will be good. And also do the sauna and the red light therapy and all of those good things. So that's part of tomorrow's afternoon adventures. Um, but tonight I need to get my run in. So I'm gonna heat this through. Got our buns, we got Costco grapes. Hot dog, we're ready to go. I'm just shaking my ground beef aggressively. We're gonna also add in onion powder, garlic powder. So I have the sugar-free G Hughes ketchup. These will also be Trim Healthy Mama friendly. If you're one of the few people following me that's into that. Um, I have some Azure yellow mustard, and then Swerve. This is the brown sugar substitute that I like to use, and it has no sugar, and it is gluten-free, and zero net carbs. And anyway, I use this. And I was gonna say, I would put minced garlic in it, but we'll use garlic powder, and we will make it that way. I <clears throat> don't need to have my heat on high though. I'm try to do low and slow, even though that does not always happen. Okay, and also another t-shirt we need to make. A tablespoon of everything around here, right? So I will do a tablespoon of garlic powder and a tablespoon. Also, this afternoon, my appliance company that had ordered the pump for that dishwasher, sorry, my voice has changed since earlier in the video because it is evening now and I am tired. But I will run and I will shower and actually I'll be ready for bed, that'll be great. But anyway, appliance company called, so this is, hear this in a happy tone, and they said they will be out tomorrow afternoon to replace the water pump in this one dishwasher 
This is again another appliance company that fixes the appliance, but they're not plumbers. So my plumbers, I don't know if that they're gonna be out tomorrow or not. And I also informed the appliance company that I was told by the other appliance guy, you following all this, you are, you're so good, that the drains are all clogged, so I don't know that they'll actually be able to do anything. But they're gonna come anyway and look. So I feel like if someone comes from one of those three companies every day, that <laughs> in the next week or so we should have a working sink and two working dishwashers again right that would be nice There's also a thing of gluten-free brownies in the oven. That is the timer for that human to come and check that. So it's another thing happening. All right, so our sloppy joes are done and everybody is going to eat them. We've already had several taken out. And I was like, oh, I didn't get a video clip. So anyway, sloppy joes and Costco grapes, yay dinner. Happy new day, friends. New Mediterranean rice, new pack of chicken laison from our THM freezer meals, new coffee that's almost gone and that is sadness, and a whole new dishwasher sink updates. Coming right at ya. Gotta make food first though. Yay microwave. And we press the button like this. Yay! <laughs> working through it there is some hope happening okay and we cling on to hope around here don't we so we have some hope going on going down yesterday i had my local appliance repair company the same company that ordered a pump for that dishwasher they came back out yesterday to install the pump that they ordered for that dishwasher and glory of glories. Do you want, to, you want to see what happened? It's amazing. It, it washed the dishes. It, it just did that. <laughs> Excitement. Okay. And while they were here, they got this piece of plastic out of the garbage disposal. Excitement. And they worked on this dishwasher again. And when they left yesterday, this dishwasher was running. About an hour went by and I came back in here. Now I was full of hopes and dreams because we already were having a pretty good run. Pump was replaced in that, that was running. This sink drained, mystery solved. All the, others dra all the other drains drained. Things were going pretty good. I opened this puppy up and I got an error code E. 15 or E315. I forget now. Right now this is unplugged. Okay. So I got that error code and I called them back to say, hey, you guys were just here. We got a lot accomplished. I'm very excited about all that you have done. However, this second dishwasher is throwing an error code. Help me out. And they said they would send a repair, the same repair guy, back out here this morning. And so this morning he came back out. Now, Another thing I had asked them, and let me see where my little parts are. They're probably back in here now. Okay. 
Another thing I asked them, because I thought I should have asked them to do this yesterday, I was like, I have some different parts that have fallen off of this dishwasher, and when he comes back out today, could he put these parts back on? I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner, but yeah, okay, didn't think of it. And I'm trying to see where that other part is to show you. Well, I guess it has to do with this part. Let me carry you to this dishwasher to show you something. Since you have followed this saga with me, so the way he was explaining it, I think this piece goes under here, okay? And so the whole mystery with this dishwasher is there's apparently water. Now, forgive me if I am not explaining this correctly. This is me trying to remember. And, mm hmm okay. So water shoots out back there. It's supposed to be shooting in here and coming out of this. But because of that, that water went places it was not supposed to go. And that's what caused this other problem that I can't explain right now, but you're living this video with me. So he has ordered some of these parts and this dishwasher is unplugged right now. So the parts where the water is, that it shouldn't be, will dry. He's basically rebuilding this dishwasher for me. And I already feel so many big life upgrades with having another working sink and one working dishwasher will take it. So it looks like we have some teenage cooking adventures in here. There's quite a bit of spilled noodles, probably during a draining situation. Also by the looks of this pot, and I thought I saw a recipe for it floating around out here, handwritten, which is just precious. I think there was some homemade chicken Alfredo or homemade just Alfredo over noodles being made at some point. You know, you get little clues. So I saw the recipe, I saw some ingredients, and now I'm finding these noodles, and I see the pot. I'm like, okay, okay, I know. That was going down, but hey, resourcefulness, resourcefulness. We appreciate, don't judge my poor little cast iron here. Don't worry, I can handle it, it'll be okay. We will bring it back to life in a moment. Glory, let's go over here. But I'm very thankful to get this local appliance repair shop contact over here helping me with things because, you know, when stuff happens in the Mega Mama kitchen, things are about, what, are they a year and a half or so old in here now? Um, just things are going to happen. It's not the days of getting an appliance and it lasting for 20 years. At least not around here currently. Okay, so we are still buzzing around this kitchen here, friends, and I'm going to, we're gonna hand wash that cast iron pan here in a minute and work on the other dishes. But I do know that my olive oil needs to be refilled. And I noticed last night, uh, oops, the lid is missing from the top of my last wonderful gold jug of olive oil from Azure. So we will do a makeshift lid for that. I think it just popped off at some point, but anyway, Pure and holy olive oil, okay. So we're gonna refill, we are refilling the olive oil. I am doing that because I want to rub my cast iron pan down with it also once I'm done. I overflowed this a little bit, but I'm just gonna go ahead and catch this bit of olive oil and we will use this for our cast iron pan rub down here in a few minutes. There's always a way to save the day, thankfully. Well, friends, you definitely helped me talk out and work out and walk out <laughs> all of these life problems in today's video. The dishwashers and the sink jam up, I tell ya, it is just a big problem in my mega mama world and also trying to get Things, things done in this Mega Mama kitchen, but I think we have some hope now. I think this last dishwasher 
is going to be rebuilt <laughs> and we are going to be moving on to the next week with two working dishwashers and two working sinks. I am full of hopes and dreams. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, for watching me cook some meals and hear about my freezers and checking out my downstairs canning pantry and all of those fun things. I appreciate you so much. I'll talk with you in those comments below and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video.